Hello folks and welcome to episode 18. In this episode, I want to cover one of the dependencies of Microsoft 365 DSC that doesn't get enough attention in my opinion. There's a sub-dependency called DSC Parser, which yours and truly uh, created, that allows you to go and take any existing DSC configuration. And I'm not just talking Microsoft 365 DSC, I'm talking any PowerShell desired state configuration out there and to convert it into a PowerShell object. That module, the DSC parser, exposes a commandlet called convert to DSC object, right? And that convert to DSC object takes on a path to a PS1 file and it will automatically analyze the configuration file and convert that to a PowerShell object that you can use to, uh, in our case, within the Microsoft 365 DSC project, we're using it to analyze the delta Right, so we're converting the source and the destination tenants configuration into PowerShell object, and then we can do compare object inside of PowerShell. In this case here, what I want to show you is how you can leverage the DSC parser to generate queries against your configuration to be able to surface information about your Microsoft 365 tenants. What I'm going to do is, in my case, I have a full export of one of my tenants, so that full export contains everything. Right, so we include security and compliance teams, SharePoint Online, OneDrive, Exchange, everything's in there, even the O365 users and their licenses. I'm gonna go and parse that object. So you're gonna see that it tells me that my current configuration had 111 objects, right? So those are number of resources blocks defined. So just parse the, the entire configuration and I can go in and uh, check that it has um, the, uh, the object parsed, right? So if I run that, it's just gonna go and print everything. Now, every block has a property called resource name and that resource name is going to reflect what type of component was used so what i mean by this is if i go in and do resource name like this it's actually printing me right so i have one team upgrade policy another team upgrade policy and so on okay, so it's the actual name of the resource being used now what i want to do is i want to do some rich uh, query or some rich reporting on my configuration the first one I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in and I want to get all the teams calling policies that are preventing the toll bypass, right? that have the toll bypass setting set to true. So I'm going to go in and this is going to go and query my object. And now what I want to do is I want to get the identity of those calling policies. So it's telling me right now that I have three policies, three calling policies that are allowing toll bypass inside of my organization. So if I want to verify that uh, it's not lying, if I search for, let's say, human resources department, right? So I'm going to do a search for this. I search in my configuration. I'm going to search down. Sorry. Uh, there it is. All right. So you see it. So Teams calling policy has the poll, prevent toll bypass set to true. So I can easily query my configuration and say, all right, tell me how many calling policies I have in my entire environment. Or tell me site collections that have a storage quota greater than, I don't know, like three gigs or something. So you can query the, uh, the entire configuration as, as you want, really. You can create those very complex queries. Another example of this is I'm gonna go and grab all my O365 users. So all the users that are assigned a license inside of Office 365. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna say, all right, I wanna group all the license assignment and tell me what their name is and how many of each I have. So this is gonna come back and say, it's a small tenant that I have, but it's gonna tell me, all right, across your environment, you have three people assigned to the Office 365 E3 developer license. You have one O365 E5 license and one Power Automate free license assigned. And I could go in and query, let's say, the O365 E3 developer license and say, tell me the users, tell me the list of users that are assigned to that license. I, I can go in and I can build rich reports using that. I can generate reports for senior executives, right? It allows me to get some deeper insights as to what's happening in my actual tenant. So hopefully the DSC parser module will get the place it deserves in your hearts, right? So you could start using it in your own project. It is, in my opinion, one of the most powerful tool that we have out there. It's something that it's not used on its own really because it's baked in Microsoft 365 DSC right now, but feel free to go and grab it. It's available on the PowerShell gallery and it's also available on GitHub at github.com slash Microsoft slash DSC parser. 
So on that note, I wish you all a good week and we'll talk again next week.